I am at Temple Episcopal Campus. We are Temple's behavioral health facility. There's 140 beds. I'm the sole full-time dietitian on this campus, and I kind of run the nutrition program for that campus. I always say I bridge the gap between the clinical and the food service and the community, et cetera. We don't serve white flour. We don't serve sugar-sweetened beverages. We don't serve fried foods to our patients. We really strive while we have them. Some we have for months to years. Some we have for a few days, whatever the case may be is to provide them with the healthiest food possible in that time. We offer fresh salads, fruits, yogurts, healthy items for them. And I will tell you, 99% of the patients love the salads. They're, they're like, can I get the extra salad on my tray? You know, they crave these foods that maybe we wouldn't be able to get while they're not with us in inpatient setting. We opened recently a food pantry. And with the food pantry, we are able to offer the community you know, healthy food, we give them um, information for social determinants of health, whether it be um, diabetes classes or, um, you know, just the My Plate. We have signs and posters everywhere so that, you know, they're, they're feasting with their eyes. It's really exciting. My title is I'm, I'm the Chief Community Health Officer for Butler Health System. And I got involved in the whole food insecurity issue because our community health needs assessment that nonprofit hospitals have to do every three years identified food insecurity as a critical issue in our community. So what we learned by doing this is not only is there, um, there is lack of access to healthy uh, quality foods, um, downtown Butler for example is a food desert. Um, but also that people don't know about nutrition or how to prepare foods when they get the healthy foods. So we took on this huge project of tackling food insecurity. So you're getting education and the food for, for six months. We have been talking to so many uh, people in our community, for example, the farm bureaus. We are. Um, we have farmers markets now coming into the hospital. We used to do this pre-COVID and we want to keep that community engaged. I think the only thing is we want it to continue to grow um, and we want to just touch more and more lives. Our, our patients, families, clients, community loves this program. So we're going to forge ahead. Food is a big part of health, so it dictates a lot of what we serve in terms of uh, like nutrient guidelines, so sodium, whole grain items, you know, having vegetables with each meal, not going over a certain amount of calories. Uh, so micronutrient-wise, it definitely dictates that. What kind of products that we purchase, so we're not purchasing any fried products. Food service in general does a really good job with executing good food. All of us are happy with being able to follow these guidelines and you know we feel good about it. Our saying is make this healthy choice the easy choice. So we try to display uh, you know the items that are most healthful uh, it you know at prime like eye level right um, we also you know price them attractively so that you know what catches your eye is the six dollar value meal that is uh, more helpful and follows the healthy guidelines rather than you know like the, the pizza or whatever those things still exist as choices to the consumer but uh, we try to really promote and make visible the choices that are good my role as a program manager is to uh, kind of look at the standards you know make sure we're holding the standards, we should practice what we preach, you know, we're a hospital system, so uh, feeding healthy food I think should come naturally to us.